Dark Sides of Living in Australia Australia is a beautiful country with so much to offer and enjoy, but like any other place, it has its dark sides too. From the scorching heat of the outback to the insidious racism that still persists in some areas, living in Australia can be difficult for many people, especially those from minority backgrounds. This video will explore some of these darker aspects of life down under, such as climate change, mental health issues and cultural differences between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. It will also discuss how we can work together to create a more equitable society where everyone can thrive despite their background or circumstances. 1. Internet is bad Internet in Australia is becoming increasingly unreliable and expensive. With the cost of data plans rising, many people are unable to afford access to the internet, making it difficult for them to stay connected with family and friends or work from home. The quality of connection can also be poor, leading to slow speeds and frequent disruptions which make streaming video or downloading large files nearly impossible. Furthermore, Australians pay some of the highest prices in the world for broadband services due to a lack of competition between providers. All these problems are putting a strain on the country's digital economy and inhibiting innovation within its borders. 2. Difficult to make friends. Australians are friendly but not friends. Making friends in Australia can be difficult. Australians are known for being friendly and open, but that doesn't necessarily mean they will become your friend. Although there are many people who you may come into contact with on a daily basis, such as colleagues or classmates, building meaningful relationships with them can take time and effort. It's not just about having common interests or similar backgrounds, it's also about connecting emotionally and feeling comfortable enough to share stories from your past. As an outsider coming to Australia, it might take some getting used to the culture before you can make genuine friendships with locals. 3. Racism Racism in Australia is a problem that has been present for many years. It is an issue that affects the lives of people from all walks of life, including Indigenous Australians, migrants and refugees. Racism can be seen in various forms, such as discriminatory behaviour, unequal access to resources and services, or exclusion from social activities. Unfortunately, racism continues to affect many aspects of our society today, and unfortunately there are still too many instances where individuals are treated differently based on their racial background or cultural identity. There have been numerous reports over the past decade suggesting that levels of racism remain high in Australia, with a survey conducted by the Scanlon Foundation indicating that one out of four Australians experience discrimination due to their race at least once per year. The Australian Human Rights Commission also reported a significant increase in complaints about race-related matters since 2010 and 2011, showing an alarming trend towards increasing levels of prejudice within our communities. Furthermore, research into Indigenous deaths in custody has revealed that Indigenous Australians are disproportionately represented in the criminal justice system and are more likely to be incarcerated than non-Indigenous people. This is a clear example of how racism can have serious implications for individuals, families and communities. It is important for us all to work together towards eliminating racism from our society by promoting positive attitudes towards cultural diversity, understanding different perspectives, challenging stereotypes and speaking out against discrimination whenever we see it. By doing this, we can help create an inclusive Australia where everyone feels respected and valued regardless of their race or ethnicity. 4. Dangerous Animals Australia is home to some of the most dangerous wildlife in the world. From venomous snakes and spiders to large saltwater crocodiles and sharks, Australia's wild animals should be respected and appreciated from a distance. Although many of these creatures are not aggressive unless provoked, it is important for visitors to research which species live in their area so they can take appropriate precautions when exploring the outback or nearby forests. With proper respect for nature and knowledge about what could lurk around each corner, one can have an amazing experience while safely enjoying all that Australia has to offer. 5. Expensive healthcare insurance Healthcare insurance in Australia is becoming increasingly expensive. This has been a difficult issue for many people, particularly those on lower incomes or with pre-existing conditions. With the cost of medical treatment rising at an alarming rate and the private health system becoming more and more complex, it can be hard to know what kind of coverage you need and how much it will cost. 
Private health insurance premiums have risen by over 60% since 2010, making it even harder for Australians to find affordable cover that meets their needs. The Australian government has tried to help by providing subsidies for low-income earners, but this still leaves many unable to afford adequate healthcare coverage. As a result, many Australians are turning towards public health services as an alternative, although these are often not as comprehensive as private health insurance. It is clear that the cost of healthcare in Australia is a major problem and one which needs to be addressed if Australians are to have access to quality medical care at an affordable price. 6. Isolation Australia is an isolated, far-off country that has a unique character and culture of its own. It's located in the Southern Hemisphere, with most of its population living along the coastline. Australia is one of the world's largest islands and it sits on its own continent, separated from other countries by vast oceans. Its geography makes it a very special place, with many species of plants and animals found nowhere else in the world. The people are friendly and welcoming to visitors from all over, making Australia an ideal destination for those looking for something different than what they'd find elsewhere. From the tropical rainforests to the arid outback desert regions, there is plenty to explore in this remote land down under. Australia is a very large country with a sparse population, meaning there are long distances between cities. This has been an issue since colonial times and has only become worse as the population of Australia increases. The distance between cities was made even greater by the development of roads and railways which tended to run along straight lines rather than following existing paths or curves in the landscape. As such, it can take considerable time to travel from one city centre to another in Australia. 7. Travelling within the country is also quite expensive Travelling within Australia can be expensive and many Australians are feeling the pinch. With rising fuel costs, airfares, accommodation rates and car hire fees, travelling around the country has become increasingly difficult for those on a budget. Factors such as increased demand during peak times, high taxes and levies imposed by governments also contribute to driving up prices. Furthermore, in many parts of the country, there is limited public transport infrastructure which forces travellers to rely on more costly private transportation options like taxis or rental cars. All these factors make it hard for people to explore this vast nation without spending too much money. Fortunately, with careful planning and research, travellers can still find ways to travel within Australia at an affordable price. 8. High cost of living Living in Australia can be expensive. The cost of living is higher than the average international level, making it difficult for many people to make ends meet and maintain a high quality of life. Rising house prices and rents are particularly challenging, with some cities such as Sydney being amongst the most expensive cities in the world to live in. Additionally, food and transport costs are also relatively high compared to other countries, while wages tend to be lower than those found overseas. In recent years, there has been an increase in housing affordability initiatives from governments across Australia that have been designed to help people access suitable accommodation at a reasonable price. However, these initiatives have not had much success due to population growth outstripping the supply of new homes being built. This has led to competition between buyers, which drives up prices further still. On top of this, many Australians pay for private health insurance premiums, something that does not exist elsewhere around the world, which further adds additional financial pressure on households each month or year. The cost of utilities such as electricity, water and gas also contribute to the high cost of living in Australia, with energy prices rising steadily over recent years due to a combination of government policies and market forces. Overall, the high cost of living in Australia can be difficult for many people to manage on a day-to-day -day basis. Despite this challenge, though, there are still plenty of opportunities for those who wish to live here. It just takes some savvy budgeting and financial planning. Living in Australia may have its perks, but it also has its dark sides. The cost of living is high, the environment can be harsh and dangerous, and the social structure can be quite rigid. But despite these drawbacks, many Australians still find a way to make a life for themselves here. It's important to remember that with every challenge comes an opportunity. So don't let the negatives discourage you from making Australia your home.